Aussie English. Pronunciation down under. Good day, mates. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of Australian English pronunciation. While Australian, British, and American English share many similarities, there are some unique differences that set Aussie English apart. Let's explore some of the most common pronunciation differences. The vowel sounds in Australian English are particularly distinctive and can be one of the main ways you can identify an Aussie speaker. 1. The I in words like fish and chip has a shorter sound in Australian English compared to the British or American versions. So, fish might sound more like fesh. 2. The A in words like dance or chance is pronounced more like ah, giving it a sound closer to dance or chance. 1. Australians often pronounce the R at the end of words more softly or not at all. For example, car might sound more like C-A-H. 2. The ending ing in words like running or swimming can often sound more like run in or swim in. 1. The O in words like no can have a slightly elongated sound, making it sound closer to no. 2. Words with U sounds like school might sound more like school in Australian English. 3. The U in words like cup and luck is pronounced as a short a uh, sound. So, cup would sound closer to cup with a short U, unlike the American C U H P. Australian English has a unique melody or rhythm. Aussies often use a rising intonation at the end of statements which can make them sound like they're asking a question even when they're not. For example, it's a hot day, might sound like, it's a hot day. We've taken a quick tour through the distinct sounds of Australian English pronunciation. Remember, the beauty of English lies in its rich tapestry of regional dialects and accents. We hope this guide has been a fun introduction to the unique sounds of the land down under. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be chatting just like an Aussie. Catch ya later!